In this video, I'm gonna be talking about acoustic foam panels, specifically these provided to me by a company called AeroZoom. I'm gonna be installing them in my studio to try and soak up some of the reverberation in my studio room. Greetings Aqua fam, it is the red and blue homosexual known as Ben Aqua. So yeah, a company called AeroZoom hit me up and was like, hey, we'd like to send you some of these acoustic foam panels. And the idea is that the more of these panels are around me in the space, the more of the reverberations in my voice and in music and so forth, the more of those will get soaked up by these panels. So I'll hear a more flat and dynamic and accurate sound response. I don't have any kind of sound or acoustic dampening devices going on in here. It's basically a bunch of wooden walls, some drywall, and these wooden rafters above me. So AeroZoom sent me 12 of these. They sent me six red ones, they sent me six blue ones, and they also sent me some of these little sticky tabs that are basically double-sided tape that I can put on the back of the panels and then stick them on there. These are specifically the two inch versions. The distance from one edge over here to I guess the tip of the pyramid right here is gonna be two inches. I really like the blue color. It looks really cool. I think this will add a pretty cool amount of color to my studio too since you can see that my studio already has a bunch of like red and blues going on which is why I chose the red and blue. When they first arrived they were basically crumpled in a package that was about this big maybe the size of a small watermelon or something like that and I was like how did they fit 12 of these in there? So when you open them up they're super scrunched and you basically have to let them air out for 24 hours so I just open them up I set them down and they went from a really squished kind of feel to this really robust feeling two inch pyramid shape. I've never used sound foam before, so treating my entire studio behind me is gonna need a lot more than just 12 of these, but I'll definitely take any sound dampening over no sound dampening. So now I'm gonna take the sticky tape and I have 40 of these that I'm gonna spread out over 12 of these foam panels. So each one's gonna get three of these. It's not an even number. Ideally, I would like to do one of the sticky tabs on each corner. If I was thinking more permanently or more long-term, I'd probably use nails or something more than the sticky tabs. I'm not super convinced, especially in a kind of moist studio <laughs> environment, moist meaning it's hot as hell in here. I think I'm gonna need more than just three of these on each panel, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use three per panel, install those up here and see how that works out. So I'm just gonna remove this panel. Let's see how this works here. Feels pretty sticky. One in this corner here. And you have a pseudo sticky but not super sticky stickiness on your sound panel now. It's a little tricky because I'm trying not to press the foam too hard. I'm gonna try to just stick this on the ceiling above me to see if just three tabs on one of these panels would actually stay up there on its own. It's actually sticking. Whoa, it's a miracle. Sweet, so I got that one installed. That was pretty easy. It seems like it's actually staying up there pretty well. So I'm just doing one sticky tab in the middle and then one on kind of opposite corners. Give it a quick little push and then pull the tab away. Hey, that actually works a lot better. It seems like the best way to do it is just to take them off, you know, put them where you want to place and just jam it on there and then pull the tab off super fast, much more efficient. It almost seems like the more gentle you are in getting these on there, the harder it is to take off the white panel. So I'm not really doing a very scientific or you know, super measured out experience here with all these. I'm really just making a cool looking pattern. Does that look cool? Sure, why not? I've never really been one to measure everything out and calculate this and that. I like to just use my intuition and just see how it goes. But so far, this is looking pretty cool, I must say. It's making my studio look even more like a professional studio. If you wanna hear the music and podcasts and stuff that I create, I'll leave links to all my creations in the description to this video. So when I was first installing these and like pushing these into the wall, I was a little mindful about, you know, how hard I should be pressing. I can push on them kind of hard and they'll, they'll kind of bounce back. So you don't have to be super mindful of pushing these once they've completely inflated. They have a little bit of give. Almost done here, just gotta put up the sixth red one. The final blue one is gonna go, let's see, right here. The final blue foam. Ah. 
Sweet, so here's my studio, my cute little desk over there. And now look what the ceiling looks like. Now it kind of looks like there are Legos above my desktop over here. And just doing 12 of these, just sticking them up there was pretty easy. It took me about 15 minutes or so. Sticky tabs are definitely the easiest way to go when you just want them to be on the wall. But everything is staying up there. Everything is looking pretty good. I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference in terms of just 12 of these being like a full sound treatment. But I will say I am really digging just how much the, just having these panels adds to the aesthetic quality of my studio. Some of the appeal of just having cool stuff and having cool decorations in a studio space is, you know, having a space that inspires me to be in there. And I really like the red and blue colors of these. Let me just like clap. And while I'm talking, I can't say that I really hear a gigantic difference, but again, 12 of these panels is not gonna do a whole lot. Obviously, I don't have any base traps or anything in my corners. Maybe I do notice like a tiny bit of difference, you know, a little less bit of reverberation going on. And like I said, it just looks pretty badass to me. So after using these, after installing these, which was super easy, my studio looks really cool. I'm really impressed with the build quality of these. They're even fireproof. So if my entire studio burns down, everything else will go except these sound foam panels, which will leave me with nothing which is what I deserve. So yeah, installation of the AeroZoom sound foam panels was a breeze, it was super easy. I've never done something like this before and even I was able to figure it out. Just remember to jam those sticky tabs on there. Don't be afraid to crush the foam a little bit. It'll decompress back to its normal state really quickly. Just jam those up there and voila, you have a better studio setup with more aesthetically pleasing stuff in there to inspire you to create. And also it'll sound a little better in your studio. So if you can hear a difference in this audio, let me know in the comments. If you think that these are worth it, if you think I'm a total dumbass on how I installed these let me know in the comments as well you know i'm not like a technician i'm not a super scientific person when it comes to installing these things obviously i could have put more treatment on the walls but more of this is just like an experiment in just adding a little bit of sound acoustic foam to my studio space so i can record my podcast my music and of course my youtube videos a lot easier Thank you so much to AeroZoom for sending me these test products. I think I might want to pick up even more. Smash the like button on this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Click that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.